Hi everybody, it's Julia here and I am back with a new process video. Last week I put up one video and that's because it took forever to edit and to make. And this week I thought I am on holiday, vacation, summer break, whatever. So every day, Monday to Friday, I'm going to post up new videos. So this day, today, I have a process video that was a proper process. These are the scraps from the mini album I made last week. I put up last week anyway. So I got a bunch of scraps from the 6x6 paper pad and I thought I don't want to throw them away, it's really cute paper. So I'm going to cut them down to 2x2. Two two. I also have some um, bigger paper too. But yeah, so I have a bunch of paper right next to me. So cutting them down to two by two. I'm then going to cut them um, diagonal, diagonally. That's not really a word, is it? Uh, <laughs> so here you go. And I'm going to need more paper, but I'm going to start off with these. So just going to snip them in half like that. So my thinking is that I want to make a background with these. So layering them up and then making like sort of a quilt looking page. That is my plan anyway. So here I'm like putting them out and realizing that is a bad idea. So I'm measuring out the center of my page and then just using the tiny bit of glue to just keep them in place. I'm going to start by um, placing them down. And in the beginning I was really like measuring, or not measuring, but really careful what pattern I put where and how I put them down and then I realized it didn't really matter because I got really sick of it at the end. <laughs> Viola, Tweedledee and Tweedledum is here with me and are being really obnoxious and really cute. So, mm, sorry. <laughs> so I'm just going to please uh, put these patterns down. The only thing is I don't want to have two patterns looking similar and right next to each other. I'm trying to space out the colors of them. Some of them like are really really pink, some of them are just black and white and some of them have more patterns, some of them are more plain. So I try to space them out as best I can and in the end uh, I really like how it looks. But yeah, it took a long time. So here it is, all put down, and I stitched with my sewing machine. That also took forever. <laughs> but I really like how it looks. It looks like a real quilt. So I'm really happy with it. The page I'm going to do is about my grandmother. Um, a while ago, I got some photos from her from her childhood uh, that she didn't want to keep for some reason. And I thought... Yeah, I'm not going to use that well, I'm sorry. <laughs> so I really want to scrapbook that. Now, I kept this big piece, I think it's illicit paper, with the black and flowers and the wood grain on the other side. So I'm going to use that whole piece, I'm not going to measure or cut it or anything. To Because it's so black, I think it really grounds the paper because... Um, I mean, the background is quite basic, this quilt sort of looking thing. So, and the other thing is with a photo, I'm not going to actually put my photo down. I'm going to use photo corners, but I'm not going to glue the photo down. And every embellishment I'm going to put on this layout is not going to be glued on the photo. So if I change my mind later or if I want to do anything, it's going to be fairly easy anyway to just take it off. That is my plan anyway. <sighs> I'm sorry about this. Yeah, and the thing is, my finger right there, it's where we live. So I think that's really fun. So I thought I was going to do something to mark that on the photo. But since I decided I don't want to touch the photo photo, I'm just going to leave it as it is. So I'm going to use these fabric covered uh, thickers to spell out her name. And then yeah. first I thought I want to use lower cases, but then mix them. And then I'm like, no, I'm just going to go with upper cases. And I'm going to spray them with some gold Heidi Shine. I thought that was going to be look nice. So yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm going to take some scrap paper here. I'm trying to cut, uh, print out some printables from Felicity Jane and that was a bust. So I'm just going to save them and use them as a scrap paper. 
So here is my new Hi to Shine I got in the Felicity J Nurture to Self kit. So yeah, now I have two. The other one is, I can barely make splatters with the other one. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to keep it. So I'm just going to spray them. And this gold Hi to Shine on this fabric uh, thickers, it looks really nice. Um, I tried to take some good photos of them. I don't know. Viola! I don't know how well it looks, but they look really nice and sparkly and goldy in person. So that's really nice. So here I pulled out some ephemera from the Bloom collection that I wanted to keep or to have on the layout. Not everything is going to be on the layout, but most of them are. Those tags on this side are going to stay. And I'm not going to write anything on them. I'm going to save them for when I know when, like how old my grandmother was, like what school she went to and all of that. And I just got a text from my sister. She is at my grandmother's today. And so she asked her and I know that now, but I have already taken the photos. So yeah, Viola. Viola and Maiken. I love that they have so much fun playing together. And they are so loud. Oh, we've... Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Piff and Puff. Weirdos. Yeah. <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, I'm going to pop pretty much everything up on this layout. I don't usually do that, but I really like how it looks. It also gives a bit sort of um, distance from the background. So, even though it's a busy background and all that, it, you can sort of get that height difference and I really like how that looks and like I said nothing no, no adhesive is touching the photo so I don't know how this will turn out in the like viola oh, in a few years Shh, please um, because obviously the photo has acid in it or it wouldn't be so yellow brownish so I don't know how that will affect my photos, if that will go that color too. I don't actually mind, to be honest. Um, so I'm just really uh, like how that will turn out. But I, I don't really care. So I'm going to add this. I got some epoxy flares. And... I have put them on the birds of that Maggie Holmes paper. I don't know what it's called, but they have a lot of birds on them and they are, the epoxy is one inch. So the birds are a bit bigger, but I love how they really, they're so cute. And uh, I have done a ton of those flare quote unquote, and I am putting them on everything. No Viola, please. I'm going to skip my felt bow. I'm going to use some embroidery uh, thread to just make another row and put that down and like I said no adhesive on the photo so on the other outside and yeah I am really liking how this turned out I have been watching Hello Yudelsky I think it's called um, making her heritage scrapbooks I'm going to link her down not below but on my blog and I just I am really fan of how she does it so I was sort of confident starting with this layout i had planned it out quite a long time before i sat down to film it mm -hmm. but it's still i mean it's sort of a big pressure to scrapbook all the photos i think anyway but if you are interested in um seeing more scrapbooking older photos and stories and that check her out because she is really really great so she really inspires me anyway to start scrapbooking some older photos so yeah, this is it. I'm going to splatter some gold Heidi Shine and I'm going to add the information of this photo later. And yeah, I'm so happy with how this layer turned out. And I'm sorry for my really weird dogs. I hope that you will be back tomorrow for a new process video and until then have a really great day.